So I've been using the HP 35S for a good bit now, mainly because I have the, the professional engineering exam coming up. And I enjoy it. There are a lot of things that I really like about it. Um, for example, the equation editor. I actually like being able to enter in my equations like this and then being able to edit them. I like being able to see the expression all on, on one line, uh, being able to edit it. I really like even the integration, so I can use that same uh, function that I've put in and integrate it. The, um, the programming I do find to be fairly intuitive as well. Um, one thing I don't really care for about the programming is it only allows single variable labels. So you do label A, you do label B, etc. So you, at least I, seem to quickly run out of labels. And you're stuck using the go to uh, to a certain line number instead of to a local label or something like that that would be on a, a different programming calculator. Now one advantage I suppose is that it's quick. You just do label and instead of going to an alpha menu or some other uh, button press, you just press the corresponding um, alphabet alphabetical letter on the keyboard and there you go, you're on to the next line. So it it can be quick, but if you're going to do anything extensive, any anything more complicated than just a few lines, then it feels really limiting. And all of your programs are in the same program space, which, yes, you can use the go-to menu and, and jump to your line you want fairly quickly, but still, I, I just, I think that could have been better. I do like having the conversions here, uh, these quick conversions, but I almost feel like those could have been better put into a menu because, I mean, I'm converting from Fahrenheit to Celsius not very often. I actually do the, the, the hours, minutes, seconds, or degrees, minutes, seconds uh, more often, but degrees to radians, no, I hardly ever convert that. Um, inches to centimeters, not really, miles to kilometers. So I, I almost feel like this could have been freed up uh, for more functionality. Now most stuff on this keyboard is quickly accessible, most functions, so that's not a big problem. Um, I almost feel like this could have used some more more menus. There are there are some menus. And they're 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 fairly easy to navigate. I do like the arrow keys. Uh, some calculators do not have those arrow keys, and I do find that those are very useful, especially if you're going to be entering in um, an equation like this and you want to edit it um, this way. And similarly with the programs. Um, so, yeah. I don't know, it's hard to know what else to say on this calculator. It's a good calculator, and I think it is probably the best one for the uh, PE exam, mainly because you can program it and put in things that you think you will need, or equations that you think you will need, you know, solve for an unknown variable. It's the only calculator that is programmable that is currently allowed for that exam. <clears throat> it's not going to give you much of an advantage, and there are some advantages, for example, in the matrix uh, calculations in the, the TI-36X Pro that you don't get here, but honestly, I don't think there's uh, much that you'll need matrix calculations for. It could have better vector support. I do find the vector support a little lacking. Um, I don't know. I just feel like it's it's a really good calculator that could have been a lot better. It's designed around a exam. It's designed to be allowed in exams. Designed to be bought by college students or people taking an exam and then not really used after that. So I, I, I think that's really a shame. It could have been a lot better in, in many ways.